All through the July 4th weekend, bankers negotiated with potential buyers, including Texas Air, and the People Express Board of Directors met today to consider its options. On June 23rd, People's Chairman Donald Burr said financial difficulties forced them to sell part or all of the company. Since then, Burr has been unavailable for comment, in contrast to the high profile he's had in the past. How come it works so big? It was the charismatic and Burr so who built People Express into the nation's doctor, fifth largest airline. People Express's power today is not in its perfection. It's in its aspiration to perfection. Its aspiration is very powerful. It's the desire to be the best that's creating this energy today, not because we're anywhere near the best. People began operating in 1981 with three planes based in Newark, New Jersey. Under Burr's leadership, it established a reputation as a no-frills airline with fares that were not only cheaper than other airlines, but in some instances, cheaper than buses. Thanks to People Express, flying costs less than driving. When you are able to go to the public and say, look here, I, got, I can take you to Boston for $19, I can take you to the West Coast for $119, I can take you to Europe for $150, bucks. the public feels good about that before they start. In 1983, People doubled its fleet by purchasing 20 Boeing 727s from Braniff Airways. In 1985, it expanded again, acquiring three airlines, Frontier, Brit Airways, and Provincetown Boston Airline, in the span of four months. But People's profits did not keep pace with its rate of expansion. As it moved into larger markets, it faced stiff competition from the older established carriers. The company lost $20 million last year, and a record 58 million in the first quarter of this year. Last April, people began courting business travelers for the first time by offering a frequent flyer program and first-class seats in most of its aircraft. But people's attempt to go upscale has so far failed to solve its problems.